Why is the camera shaking? What's up, everybody? It's me. You're tuning into On The Radar. So I told you guys a few weeks ago that I was going to do this. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to have let me, I don't, I'm not supposed to have, I'm not supposed to have that hat on. <laughs> don't mind that. All right, so I told you guys, and my setup is a little bit different today, so bear with me. I'm doing a lot. It's a lot going on. But I told you guys a few weeks ago that, um, you know, I was starting to use the jojoba oil from Biomedal. Is that in tune? Is that is that in focus? Let's get that in focus. Let's not get there. We go. So I told you guys I started using that along with the arugula. So are we in focus? Are we in focus? Let's focus. There we go. So I told you guys I couldn't give you any real feedback because I needed time to use it and, and give it some figure out what it's doing for me. So I have an update for you guys. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna speak about the arugula in a different video, but. Right now, I want to focus on the jojoba. A lot of people um, pronounce it jojoba, but it's actually jojoba. So as I said, I didn't know a lot about it. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information about it technically, and then I'm going to get into what it does for me, what I've noticed. Um, so one of the things they say jojoba won't clog your pores because it, it, your body produces a natural amount of, of oil, as we all know, and it recognizes, your body recognizes this almost as the same type of oil that your body is producing. So when you have this on your, on your face, um, your body won't produce as much oil because it's kind of reading that it already has it. So it's kind of, kind of weird, but that's what it is. And because it's, it, it, so it won't clog your pores as a result of it being more of a natural type of, um, oil. Um, it helps reduce wrinkles. I'm not going to get into the, to the technicals. I'm just going to kind of skim through this. It's extra effective as a moisturizer for your skin. It can relieve skin conditions like eczema and stuff like that, inflammation of the skin. Um, it can help your hair, and that's what we're going to specifically get into. It could help heal your wounds. The antioxidants mentioned is, uh, you know, helps to reduce the inflammation and enhance uh, wound healing. It is also antifungal and antibacterial. It could end cold sores. It can double as a scalp mask. They're saying massage it into your scalp before bed for overnight treatment. Um, again, they're mentioning anti-inflammatory. Um, it soothes itching and irritated skin on your head. Um, <clears throat> something else that I saw. Now, for, for the benefits of the hair, some of the things that they say for hair is it can moisturize the scalp and it's good for dandruff, like I just said. It's rich in vitamins and minerals. It has vitamins C, B, E, copper, zinc. It strengthens your hair. Um, it can, it can, it's good for, for, to promote hair loss, increase the hair thickness, all that stuff. So um, I'm kind of just running through this. Maybe I'll do another video where I really go in depth with that stuff. But I just want to give you a real world um, experience of what I've noticed so far. So um, I want to I point this out. And this is the reasons why I have my, my hat off. So one of the things I told you guys at... For me to test this stuff out, you guys always who watch the channel, you see I always grow my beard and then I'm always cutting it. I don't let my beard grow. It'll get to this length, maybe a little longer. I'm always cutting it. I'm always changing up my, my facial hair. There's a reason for that and I'm going to get into it. Also, I'm always wearing a hat, but you notice I don't usually let my hair grow this, this long, right? There's a reason for that. So I'm letting my hair grow on both my face and my head because I'm testing the arugula oil and the jojoba, so I want to see what it really does. So I have to have hair in order to do that, right? So that's just one example of you see that I'm actually using this stuff, and I have to grow my, my hair out. So again, I'm going to get back into the arugula oil at a different video, but right now for the jojoba, I've been using it on my face every day. Obviously, if I'm putting it on my face, I'm massaging it into my beard. Um, I'm going to play a clip of a video that I recorded the other day because I was in the moment where it, it struck me when I realized, oh, this is what it's doing. So I just grabbed the phone and recorded because I typically do that. That's my way of taking notes. And then, you know, I'll come back to it later 
and whatever. So the way I explained it in this video was perfect. And again, I was literally in the moment where it hit me like, this is what it's doing. So I'm going to actually use the notes. I don't think I've ever done this in my videos, but it's actually my notes from that moment because it, it explains it perfectly. So I'm going to get into that clip right now. All right, so let me let me show you guys what I'm paying attention to, right, as far as my beard. So, whenever I grow my beard out, it gets about to this length, and it starts to annoy me because it starts looking all just, just it, to me, it starts looking sloppy and uneven. So, I end up getting it to around this length. What I first thing I usually end up doing is shaving this part down because this part is always thicker on the, on the, on the, 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 the band part or whatever you call it. So usually I shave this part down, to get this part off, and then keep this, and this is usually nice and thick, right? This part, the front part, is always, um, it grows at a certain, like right around now, this part is going it's, to, it's, it, it all started off even, but this part is going to start outgrowing this part. So then this part looks all bushy, and then this part starts to, it's smaller, it doesn't stick out the same, it starts also looking weird to me. So then I end up trimming it all down and keeping it even. I do this all the time, right? And um, this time, since I started using the jojoba, I noticed the way my beard is right here, it's it's thicker. And it's 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 definitely feels thicker. And and usually the way it's shaped right here, I usually have to put beard oil in it, comb it out, and try to shape it and form it that way. And I've been using the jojoba for weeks. Every day, it's the only thing I put on my face. And it is doing it to my beard naturally. And then it makes it kind of longer. So usually when you pick your beard out in the morning or after you get out, the, if you get out the shower, it's usually wet. But if, if I just pick it out dry, it's usually I have to comb it out. And then I have to put something in it to give it this shape and this look. I took a shower hours ago and put this stuff on my face a few minutes ago. I was looking, I, I just went to comb it, and I'm like, yo, it's still kind of, it, it makes it soft, it makes it straight, and it, it, it's keeping its form. Like, my, my beard is growing out this way. That doesn't usually work that way. And especially once I put the, the, the like, regular beard oil in, or let's say I don't put anything in, it'll keep this form for that time. But later on in the day, I might have to comb it back out or, uh, you know, even apply it more sometimes. With this, this I'm noticing, it just keeps this form. It's, it feels thicker, and, and, and it's like making it straighter. So it, it sticks out all day. I don't have to comb it. And when I did comb it, look, it's still straight. It's not, it's straight and smooth. That's incredible. So then I was paying attention to this side a few minutes ago, and I'm like, same thing here. It, it's Usually, definitely on the sides even more. I have to comb it out during the day. It, it just sticks out all day for the most part. So it keeps its shape. It keeps its form or whatever you want to call it. That's a big deal because I've never had that issue. Now, the other issue or uh, the other thing that I'm noticing is it seems to be grown. This part, because I guess it, it's staying puffed out all day, it, it keeps more even with the front because the front is growing faster than the sides so like i said generally around this time I'm, I'm starting to trim either trim this part down or i'm doing other things because this starts to look it start this part starts to outgrow the sides and it just never looks right to me i feel like the sides are, are, are a little bit more thicker and fuller and it's keeping pace a little bit more with the front part even though the front is starting to grow out you know faster so it just makes it look more uniform and it, it, it makes me keep it more. Because like I said, I'm always just, after around this point, it starts looking crazy and I cut it. Um, and, you know, I never let my hair grow this long. And I'm, I'm just letting everything grow out so I can test these oils. And um, I find myself rubbing my hair all day because I like the way my hair feels. And my hair just feels good. It feels soft. It feels It feels like I have some sort of conditioner in it. And it doesn't fit, it doesn't get all, all greasy. There's a little bit, like barely anything. You don't even notice it if you're not paying attention. But it doesn't leave my hair greasy. And I put this stuff in my hair twice a day. Sometimes more than that because I'm starting to get obsessed with it. Um, 
So I've realized this jojoba works incredible. Like I'm really a fan of it. So like I said, when I when I did the video, I told you guys I didn't know anything about this oil, so I couldn't tell you. I'm at the point now where I'm starting to see it. And for the past few days, I've been noticing it, but I'm like, mm, you know, let me see. Maybe it's my mind. Maybe I'm just, I don't know. It really, this stuff works, man. It's good. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I can see firsthand what this does. Now I understand why they put it in, you know, the different beard oils and all the different stuff. But just using it straight by itself. And I know that it's, it's pure. It's not anything extra added into it. It's not, you know, cut with anything or mixed with anything. Yo, this stuff is legit, man. I'm rocking with it. And I put it on my face every day. And, and I, I love the way it's working. I, I recently started doing a mix of the jojoba, the arugula, and the black seed oil. And I've been putting that in my hair twice a day. And I'm, I'm loving the results of that. I'll get more into that part later. But so far, this is legit. I give it a thumbs up. So that pretty much sums it up perfectly. You know what I'm saying? And because I like the way it's 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 been working for me, you know, I'm, I'm continuing to let... Well, I've been putting it in my hair, but we're going to talk about that later. But, you know, I'm continuing to let my beard grow, letting my hair grow, and I, I'm noticing that, you know, these things are real. So I... Same thing with the arugula. Oh, I had... You guys see I had it. I went and bought more already i'm not even finished with those bottles i already bought more you can see the, the caps are still on the the i haven't opened these i need more <laughs> i need more um so i have you know it's not a game when i'm telling you i believe in this stuff and it, it's working for me i went and bought more already before it ran out um what i'm so there's not too much more i can say i want to know what you guys think if you see i've Listen, I want to know what you guys think. If you've used it, if you're thinking about using it, and I know, as I said, you know, a lot of this stuff, a jojoba is in a lot of different beard products and different hair products and stuff, but I've never seen, as far as I know, I've never known anybody to use it straight up. And from what I've been hearing, even people, when they get it, um, that when it's supposed to be regular, it's usually mixed with something. It's, it's, it's watered down. It's cut. It's not, it's not the same stuff. But what I know from this... From what I've been using it, I love it. I'm going to keep using it on my skin. I'm going to keep using it on my hair. Um, and I'm going to keep letting my hair grow out um, to, to, to keep, you know. I, I don't know about my, my head. I don't know how long I'm going to let that grow. But for now, I'm going to let my beard keep growing out. But I'm going to try to let both grow a little while longer until it, they, it starts to annoy me. <laughs> for the moment, it's not annoying me, but... That could change in a split second. So I might get off this camera and just shave it off. But for now, you know, I'm going to let my hair grow. But I love this stuff. I, I really, really, really love these oils. So um, check it out. If you haven't, if you've been on the fence, it's definitely good. Um, I haven't done the, 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 I'm not going to, I'm going to speak on the arugula oil separately. And, um, but I can tell you off the bat without getting in too deep into it. I do like this oil, the, the arugula also. It's it's good. It's a go. I'm going to do a separate video on that just to get into the, you know, different details of it. But um, like I said, let me know what you think if you use it, if you're thinking about using it. But I want to know if, if, if specifically if you've used jojoba oil by itself, not mixed with anything else. There will be a link in the description um, to so you can purchase it as well as a promo code so you can get a little something off if you choose to buy it. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something else pops up on the radar. Salute.